In this example, I need to use a half angle formula to find the exact value of the tangent of 3 pi over 8. When we see exact value, it means don't use your calculator. You're most probably going to need the unit circle. But 3 pi over 8 is not on the unit circle. But we're given a big hint. We're told to use a half angle formula. So is 3 pi over 8 half of an angle that's on the unit circle? Well, check. We take our 3 pi over 8 and multiply it by 2. The 2 reduces with the 8 four times, and I get 3 pi over 4. Is 3 pi over 4 on the unit circle? Yes. So we know that 3 pi over 8 is going to be half of the angle 3 pi over 4. So I know the tangent of 3 pi over 8 is equal to the tangent of 3 pi over 4 all divided by 2. So now I can use a half angle formula to solve this problem. Here is the formula for the tangent of a over 2, the half angle formula for the tangent function. And this one has three different versions. I will get a correct answer irregardless of which one I use, but I want to pick the easiest one to use. The first one definitely looks more complicated with this plus or minus a square root. And I'm going to pick version 2 because there's only one term in the denominator and that might make it easier to simplify my answer. So that's the version I'm going to use. So remember in my case, a is three pi over four. So I'm gonna get one minus the cosine of a, so that's the cosine of three pi over four divided by the sine of a, and remember a is 3 pi over 4. Now these are two values that I can find on the unit circle. Here is my unit circle, and here is 3 pi over 4. Remember, the cosine of 3 pi over 4 is the x-coordinate of this point, and the sine of 3 pi over 4 is the y-coordinate. So I'm going to get 1 minus the cosine is negative, the square root of 2 over 2, all divided by the sine of 3 pi over 4, that is the positive square root of 2 over 2. So now all I have to do is neaten this up a little bit. So I get 1 minus a negative is plus the square root of 2 over 2, all divided by the square root of 2 over 2. Now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to multiply every single term by my LCD. And what is the LCD in this case? The LCD is 2. So I'm going to multiply 2 times the first term, 2 times this fraction. So I'm going to turn 2 into a fraction by dividing it by 1. And do the same in the denominator. So now I get 2 times 1 is 2, plus these 2's reduce, and I just get left with the square root of 2, all divided by, again, just the square root of 2. Now to simplify this expression, I think it would be simpler to break it up, so I'm going to have 2 divided by the square root of 2, plus the square root of 2, divided by the square root of 2. So my first term does not simplify, but remember we do not want to leave radicals in the denominator, so I'm going to rationalize the denominator by multiplying numerator and denominator by the square root of 2, plus these square roots of 2's reduce and I get left with 1. 
So I get 2 times the square root of 2 all divided by the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is just 2 plus 1. Reduce those two twos, and my answer is the square root of 2 plus 1. So that is the exact value of the tangent of 3 pi over 8. One last point is you can check this problem on your calculator, making sure your calculator is in radian mode, figure out the tangent of 3 pi over 8, and then compare it to the value of the square root of 2 plus 1.